I had the fortune to see several scrub jays today, and scrub jays were the subject of a very interesting study that showed that they have what's called episodic memory. That is, they remember the what, the when, and the where of a past event. A pretty impressive cognitive feat. This study involved a number of steps. Let me just give you some, some crucial background information. Uh, scrub jays are a caching species. That is, they bury items of food like squirrels do for future reference to go back and hopefully recover them. You can imagine it wouldn't be very much, make much sense to cache things if you didn't have a memory of where you put them. So caching species tend to have a decent memory. And uh, there's one species, the um, Clark's nutcracker, has been shown to be able to remember the locations of about 33,000 seeds or other items that they buried during the warmer months so that they can find most of them during the cold, long winter months up in the mountains, the Rocky Mountains where they live. Well, scrub jays do this as well. Another piece of information, uh, they like peanuts and they like waxworms, but they like waxworms better than peanuts if they have a choice. Third piece of information that you should know is that waxworms have a shorter shelf life. They deteriorate sooner. After about four or five days, they become rotten and foul tasting and the scrub jays no longer want to eat them. So, so those are the little bits of background information. So, Individual birds were given the opportunity to bury n peanuts and waxworms. So let's say it's Monday morning, uh, the jay is not hungry, so is motivated to cache and bury things. And it has a little bowl of peanuts and they have access to an arena on this side, an open door with sand so they could bury their peanuts. So you're all peanuts, don't take offense. And then uh, later that morning the animal, the bird was given some waxworms and they were given no longer access to this, they were given only access to arena on this side. So you're all waxworms that the, that the uh, bird has diligently buried in different locations around this arena. Well, then by waiting different amounts of time before the scrub jay has an opportunity to revisit the caches, you can see how they respond to these different situations. So if it's just a few hours after they buried these two food items and you give them access to both arenas, you can probably guess uh, which side they're going to go. They're going to go that side because they like waxworms better than peanuts. But if it's been over 124 hours, that's the number they used in this particular study, essentially five days or more later, then they don't go to that side when given the choice. They will go to this side. It's as if they're, they don't wear watches, but they're keeping mental track of how much time. Now, scientists had to be careful for, to control for other eventualities. One could, a skeptic could say that, well, perhaps they just smell that these are rotten and they can detect the stinky smell of the rotten waxworms. So that's how they're queuing it. So in this study, they actually replaced the rotten waxworms after about four days and replaced them with fresh ones. So it showed that the fact that they still went this way, even though there's fresh waxworms there, it means that they, they were actually relying on their memory of what was where. Perhaps a really smart one would have gone that side just to check it out, make sure, because they're thinking, well, they're scientists, they're always pulling tricks, but they didn't do that. <laughs> but I can tell you that scrub jays pull tricks on each other. They, um, they actually will pilfer the caches of other birds if they get the opportunity. And it's been shown through close observation of these, of these birds that if a, if, a, if a scrub jay is burying something and there's another jay watching, this jay is aware of that. And uh, they will, if they're being watched, they will come back very soon thereafter when that bird's gone and redig it up and move it somewhere else. <laughs> provided, there's one proviso, provided they themselves have pilfered other scrub jays before. So it takes a, a thief to know one in scrub jay society. <laughs> <laughs>